The intention of this video is to show how I set up VS Code so that the IntelliSense feature, which is the code navigation feature within VS Code, works when working with um, Expressive's ESP32 code for their microcontroller. It can be uh, very frustrating if you're using VS Code uh, not being able to navigate within their example files um, because it's very hard to learn uh, how the examples work if you can't navigate to things like the types and the classes and the objects that are being set up in their example files. So here you see uh, the, the general purpose timer example that comes with uh, release 5.1 of the Expressive uh, API for ESP32. And you can see that uh, IntelliSense is highlighting or underlying, underlining with squiggles some of the include statements. And if I right click on these to try to navigate and go to definition, it says no definition found. And it's asking that I add things to my include path. Um, now you could add the directory paths for each one of these items individually, but it'd be a heck of a lot of work because the expressive API uh, directory structure is rather complicated. Um, and there are files in various locations. So it doesn't make any sense to do that. It just would be too much work and too hard to maintain. So um, let's just go to another place here in the code. Let's say I want to navigate to this Q handle. I say go to definition. It says no definition found. So um, the fix or the workaround that I came up with is um, to do this within the C, CPP, properties.json, and there's also a change within the settings.json. These green items are to be added. Um, and th what this first one that does here is to point to the workspace folder of the uh, particular project you're in, and then it's the build directory. And since the example uh, files that Expressive provides with their API software builds, you can build these projects and then begin navigating them to learn about them. So this build directory will be populated with the uh, build objects and uh, that provides some uh, useful navigable, navigable um, files for um, you know exploring the code. And then there's this other one which is the path to the components that are delivered when you download the API from Expressive. Um, for example this IDF path here just going to go to my terminal and echo that path so you see what it is. So it goes basically to your home directory and then there's an ESP slash ESP dash IDF um, directory and that's where, that's where the examples are uh, set up. That's where the tools are that they provide. So you add that to the ccpp properties.json file and then in the browse area this, this is not essential but it uh, doesn't seem to do any harm. <clears throat> You can have the same thing, um, these same paths within the browse section of the properties JSON file. And then in settings, I'm just adding these two, which is target the ESP32 and then tell IntelliSense engine to use tag parser. I don't really know the details of what all this means. That VS Code has got a lot of complexity, a lot of um, things that are uh, that need to be set up. Um, let's see, have two lines there. And so I don't understand all the complexity of VS Code, but I do know that you need to be able to navigate code in order to learn about it. So by setting these things up, if you go back over here, um, now we'll see that we can actually navigate. Let's see if this is going to work for me. Yep, you can now navigate to these header files and learn about what's in them, etc. Or... Um, to go to particular types like this Q handle we were looking at before. And now it'll take you there and you can see that's a type def and learn about uh, the particulars of items that are used in their example uh, C files. So those are the things to do. You know, that's what it, what it looks like. You're just basically adding these two lines right here. Those are the critical ones in this file. And then in the settings file, it's just these two lines. And if you do that, you should be able to navigate the uh, example files and uh, the Express IF, Expressive um, 
code in general. So it's worked for me. Hopefully this helps someone else out. Um, okay, thanks for watching.